All right, I'm going to show how I cut the uh, skull plate from the main skull. First thing I need to do is remove the uh, heavy ear muscles, which I tend to leave on during the skinning process. I get under the muscles with a boning knife, cut up to under the antler burr, then I start going back and I ride the blade along the bone of the skull. Okay. I ride this blade along the bone of the skull, pulling the muscle tissue back as I go. I cut right down tight against the skull, and we can pitch that out of here. Now I've already started on this side, slicing all the way through. Now I'm going to slice down the back of the skull and expose the back of the skull. Tear this meat away from the bone, exposing the skull bone as we go. Like so. It's cold enough for me to wear my leather gloves today. It's not for protection from anything. It's, well, protection from the cold. <laughs> now, I've already gotten a neck measurement off of this big fella, and this is a big fella. Seven and three quarter inch nose to eye. 13 and three quarter inch back of the skull to the tip of the nose. Big deer, big deer. But with a 21 and 22 inch neck measurement, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the heavy muscles off the uh, upper brows here now, around the uh, eye socket, around the eye orbit. Go. I'm going to get the bone as exposed as possible. Now, while a lot of guys like to use a sawzall. I go old school enough, I prefer a big ass bone saw. And I start, try to go as far back as where the line on the top of the mannequin is made for attaching the, um, the skull. So I start, I go forward and I draw the, knife, uh, the blade back. The teeth on a bone saw face the rear or handle of the saw. After the first cut is made, because I'm left-handed, I turn the skull around and I continue cutting along the skull, like so. I make that initial cut sort of a scratch in the bone. You see how far back this cut is made? That's where most good forms are sculpted back to. Now this is a big, heavy, thick skull. This will take a few minutes. I get off, off onto the other opposite side. Make sure I'm going down. I go through there. The side of the skull behind the eye socket is the thickest. So I'd like, to, I'd like to cut through that on the opposite side first. And then I continue along the front. Like I said, you can use a sawzall. I used to use one. Problem is, bone chews up the blade on a sawzall. Sawzall is not meant for sawzall blades. There's, there's not a bone cutting sawzall blade. This is a bone saw, a butcher saw, meant for cutting through bone got fine teeth. The fine teeth on a sawzall, the finest you can get is would be the, the, for the equivalent of a uh, hacksaw. And that's great for cutting like steel tubing and whatnot or steel pipe. Not real good for bone. Okay, we're through the front, we're through the top of the skull at this point. And I need to come down and go through the thickest point which is behind the eyes.
and get it on the other side as well. Go down that far. I'll put the blade straight again. Go down equally through the skull behind both eye sockets. And you can see we've got some brain matter sticking to the bone, so we're through there. Next stop, the back of the skull. All right, I'm going to take this cut through the back of the skull about here, down through just under the bar by about, oh, maybe a finger width to the cut made through behind the uh, eye sockets at the front. And I'm going to start. That's why I cut the meat back a little bit. I want to make sure I'm e uh, e equal on both sides. I want to make sure that it sits level. If it doesn't sit level, I'll even it off after it's boiled and dried with a, uh, um, a uh, belt sander. I like to try and get it as even as possible from the beginning. this side than the off side here, but that's okay, that's all right. <laughs> the entire back of the skull will be utilized in the mount, so just saying, it won't be hacked off with a, with a hatchet or an axe. This is the easiest part to get through, where the, because the uh, wall of the skull is just so thick, it's on both sides but it's a lot thinner. The side walls of the skull are a lot thinner than the top of the skull and the area just behind the eye sockets. Lots thinner. It has the bone is skipping through there. We'll get to the end. This is just about ready to pop off. And I do mean pop off. It got connected to the two front cuts through the top and ahead of the eye so uh, behind the eye sockets, back of the eye sockets. Now I give it a little hit on a table. <clears throat> it's busted off. Okay now. I can now pop out the uh, zombie food. Yes, zombies love brains. I'll just take a knife, the same knife I removed the uh, muscle tissue with, and I'll go around and just pop the brain out. And like Soupy Sales used to sing, brains have all out. Now, whatever material is holding the skull is simply sliced through with a knife. And there is a nicely cut skull plate. It can be evened up a little bit in the front and the level. That can be evened up after it's boiled and dried with a uh, belt sander and or a farrier's rasp. But there we have it from the front, from the side, from the back. Okay, back in the day we used to go all the way through the eye sockets right down the bridge of the nose and build it up that way. And what I'll do at this point is I'll go along and continue to I'll carve away any of the meat and tissue that's on the bone, get rid of all of it, get it all off, and tomorrow this will go into the boil. I see it sits a lot even. Sits a lot better now with that meat removed. Not much, just a little bit, just a wee bit. Whoops! Gotta stop throwing it around. There we go. Yeah, let me get this little bit off here. Like so. And I can see where I'm at here. Yeah. And this will be boiled. 
A lot of guys will just leave this. Let it dry. Salt it or what have you. Not me. Not me. I'll get that off of there. Next it goes into the boil. Get a paper towel. Spritz a little Windex on it. On the paper towel. And wipe down the blade. I go from front to rear because remember the teeth are, pa are facing the rear of the blade. I just want to get all the brain matter off the uh, blade. Now, so it's clean now. Now hang it back up.